Let's talk Coachella Valley. I'm your host, Conrad Negron. Tonight, we're at Frank's Place here at the Indian Wells Resort. And our special guest and show tonight, Patricia Welsh. Conrad Negron here with Chris Clemens. Chris Clemens, PR. Chris, um, Patricia, tell us a little bit about the show here at the uh, Indian Wells Resort, Frank's Place. Okay, well, this show is really spectacular. It's Patricia Welch performing. She's performing every Thursday night here through May. So if you can take get an opportunity to come out here and take an evening, it's really a one-of-a-kind show that is I don't think you can find something in the Coachella Valley like this because she's a former actress on Broadway and an acclaimed singer, and she um, is on the stage here. It's a dinner show, so it's only five bucks to get in for the performance, and then you just order what you want off the menu um, here at Frank's Place inside of the Indian Wells Resort Hotel. Patricia Welsh is here at uh, Frank's Place, Indian Wells Hotel. Thanks for coming on the show. It's really exciting. It's very exciting, too. Thank you for having me. <laughs> well, I'd like to thank uh, Chris Clemens and Chris Clemens PR yes. for getting us in touch. They do an amazing job over there yes. with public relations. Now, I've got to start off. You've worked with some really unbelievable people in your time. Uh, Yul Brenner, Robert Goulet, Wayne Newton. Yes. Who is your favorite? Well, actually, I got my break with Yul Brenner. I was, uh, it was a Cinderella story. I went to New York City when I was very young, in my early 20s and um, landed the role of Tup Tim and the King and I. So that started my career, but I love all three of them. They were all, Robert Goulet was wonderful to work with, Yul Brenner was wonderful to work with, and Wayne Newton, who's still around, is also wonderful to work with. Well, Wayne Newton looks like he's about 25. <laughs> I think he's had a little bit of work done. Oh, you think so? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> You sing a lot of songs, uh, standards of some of the great singers, Ella Fitzgerald, uh, Anne Murray, Murray. What's your favorite songs? Wow, that is so hard to say because see, I have a four octave range and I love to be able to flip flop. So I'll do an aria, O mio babino caro, and then I'll, then I'll sing crazy right after that. Or a Anne Murray or Linda Ronstadt. I mean, I love it all. All good music, you know, but the oldies but goodies, you know. Well, Patricia, you've been performing for many years, Broadway. I've got to ask you, you were the voiceover on some animated movies. Tell me about that experience. Well, actually, I've done uh, quite a few voiceovers. That was a wonderful experience. It's great to be to do voiceovers because you're heard but not seen, <laughs> which I think that's Sometimes that's good. That is good. Yes, it is. It is fun. And, um, and, you know, I've just always loved anything that leans towards kind of a Broadway or Disney feel. I've always liked that. May you never take one single breath for granted. God forbid love ever leave you empty-handed. I hope you still feel small when you stand beside the ocean. And when one door closes, I hope one more opens. Promise me that you'll give faith a fighting chance. And when you get the choice to sit in or dance, that um, you had a voice. I mean, because some people, I think, you either can or you can't. Some, you know, some are, might be better than others. But when did you know that you were, you know, you had the talent to do what you've done over the years? I think when I was about nine years old. That's when I really started. I started voice lessons. I loved music. Um, we lived in the country, so the nearest house was about four miles away. So they didn't have to hear you. <laughs> they didn't have to hear me. And also, I would listen to the Gordon McRae and the Shirley Jones albums, and I would turn Shirley Jones down and pretend like I was Gordon McRae's okay. or Johnny Raitt's leading lady. And so I always had this dream, and it's, it's you know, just this wonderful drive to pursue this since when I was nine years old. So where were you born? Where, where did you come from? I was born in Steubenville, Ohio. My grandfather actually was playmates with Dean Martin. 
and then in a very all Italian family. Welch is my stage name. My real name is Patricia Anna Margarita Carpi. Anna Margarita Carvito. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. We'll have to pull that past Frank yeah, DeSalvo, huh? Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, Mitch Lee, who wrote Man of La Mancha and was also the co producer with Yul Brenner for The King and I, he said, We can't have that name on the marquee. You're going to have to come up. And he said, For your own protection, too, you need a stage name. So that's how I came up with Patricia Welch. But I've been, I've, you know, been singing opera and Broadway and country because I lived in West Virginia and, you know, was born in Ohio and raised in West Virginia. time he says there's only two kinds of music country and western so, that's not true is it well you know my stepfather who raised me most of my life when I was a child he actually would come in the room after I was you know singing all the opera scales and so forth and he'd say okay enough of that how about singing some real music so then I would sing a Tammy Wynette or a Patsy Cline tune to make him happy well that's a good wide variety a lot of people yeah. just are they're only you know, one know. song or one style. Yeah. So you have a variety of styles. I do. And that's the biggest thing. I think that's my calling card. People that come here to Frank's place. I did a show here last night and I'm doing another one tonight. And that's what they say. They say, how do you just change gears like that? So effortlessly but I've been doing it for many years you know I'm up there a little in age so I guess as no. we get as we get this is your third year singing I heard <laughs> as we get older you know <laughs> My singing skills are way up there. My chan my chances are slim, and not, but I can rap. But that's oh. I don't know if that's a music or not. Yeah. I don't I don't have too much rhythm, <laughs> so I don't rap. So um, I'm gonna not uh, uh, I'm you're not gonna call me up on stage tonight. No. Okay, great. That's just great. <laughs> Patricia, everybody get down here to Frank's place, Patricia Welsh. Pat every uh, look, Thursday. look every Thursday. Every Thursday, yes, yeah, 6 to 9. The coming yeah. Christmas season is going to be yeah. exciting. Yes. What's your favorite Christmas song? Oh, gosh. I have one called Merry Christmas with Love, and I did it last night, and I'm going to do it again tonight, and people have never heard it. And It's about a woman who's all alone for Christmas, and the carolers come at the door. She's very sad because the children are gone. Her husband's obviously gone. She's all by herself, and the carolers come to the door, and when they open the door, she just feels the love, and it's just such a wonderful feeling, and, wow. and people love that song. Sleigh bells ring. No, I can't do that. <laughs> I do that and my son gets mad when I sing. So. And I also sing What Are You Doing for New Year's Eve? And by the way, I'm here singing with Ted Herman, the big band, yes. on New Year's Eve here at Frank's Place. And that's a wonderful performance. With I love the, it. With the Patricia, thanks for your time. I know you're busy. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Smile on my face. with Rebecca Clark, which she does Hello Gorgeous, and she just sounds just like Barbara Streisand. And then we have Thursdays, which is my night, Patricia Welch, every Thursday, 6 to 9, 
And then Friday and Saturday we have Frank DeSalvo. And then Sunday nights we have something really special for you. We have the Ted Herman Big Band. And that's a 16-piece big band out on the dance floor. People get up and dance. And if you haven't already booked New Year's, book it here at Frank's Place. We would love to see you here. We have three performers, three singers. We sing every uh, Sunday with Ted Herman, Lee Hartley, Terry Olson, and myself. And we're going to be here also performing for you on New Year's Eve. So book New Year's Eve here at Frank's Place. We'd love to see you. This concludes another episode of Let's Talk Coachella Valley. I'm your host, Conrad Negron, for Chris Clemens and Chris Clemens PR. Everybody have a Merry Christmas.